Hey Jax, what's going on? Today, we're gonna be taking you around some of IUPUI's most sustainable locations. I'm Amber. I'm Jonathan. I'm Dylan. I'm Jessica, and we're gonna be your tour guides today. event that we have on campus is the energy charge. This happens every year in Chandra's buildings to reduce their energies for a certain period of time. The winning building gets their name on this energy challenge banner on the fourth floor of the campus center. And if you turn the corner here, you can check out our waste station. Not sure what to recycle or throw away? Here's a visualization that will show you how to do it. When you're on campus, don't forget to bring your reusable water bottle. Rather than buying individual single serving bottles, you can reuse this as many times as you want. One of the great things about being downtown is that we get to take advantage of the cultural trail, which is Indianapolis's bike highway. And one of the best ways to see it is by using one of our bikes from the Pacers Bike Share stations. These stations are located all over downtown Indianapolis. And for a dollar a ride, plus 15 cents every minute, you can basically check out the whole city on two wheels. So I'm going to check one out and we'll go for a spin. As you can see, it's closed for the season. But usually things are blooming up left and right. Don't forget to check out our volunteer page to come and help us grow fruits and veggies throughout the spring and the summer. Did you know IUPUI is Bee Campus certified? We've got two beehives that hold 100,000 bees each that help us pollinate these gardens here at the New York Street Garden. If you did not know, IUPUI is Tree Campus USA certified, which means a few things. One of those being that we are always planting trees here on campus. Right now we're on Lansing Street, and these were planted in partnership with Keith Indianapolis Beautiful, which is a local nonprofit we're always working with. Some of the benefits you'll see from trees here on campus are that they filter water, it helps sequester carbon. They also create a shade canopy to go read and also create a safe space for critters and birds and different pollinators. Right now we're in the Riverwalk Pollinator Garden, which was initially an honors project created about a year ago by one of our students here on campus. You'll see a bunch of different native plants from milkweed to different kinds of coneflower. And it's, we've actually been surprised at how quickly it's all sprouted up uh, despite being planted only a little while ago. So one great benefit of pollinator gardens like this is they are a home to different pollinators, whether that be bees, birds, and different insects. So that, whether that be our bees from our other garden here on campus coming over and then pollinating other parts of campus. behind me is the Fritz Clinical Care Center at the IU School of Dentistry. This building is actually LEAD Silver. LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and it is a program of the United States Green Building Council. If you didn't know, IEPY is committed to building all of its new buildings as LEAD certified and this is a great example of it. Here at the University Library, there's more than books. There's also seeds you can check out. This is an example of a successful Green IUPUI grant in action. 
you can come here to the library or order them online to take these seeds home and grow them at your home garden or in your dorm. The only thing you're responsible for is bringing seeds back here for other people to check out next year. Right now we're in the Central Garden, which is right outside of the library. It's one of two gardens we have on campus, the other one being the New York Street Garden by Carroll Stadium. Uh, this garden just has a few raised beds that we use to grow things from peppers to tomatoes to different herbs and spices during the year. Also in the Central Garden, you'll find a few compost buckets that throughout the year they'll fill up in turn and then that compost will ideally be used in these beds or in other plantings in the other garden. I'm the greenhouse technician and I've worked here 26 years and I'm the one that takes care of all the plants here in our collection for research and education, which is the purpose of the greenhouse on the roof of the science building. This is one of our favorites because it blooms in the winter and so it has, it's called the bird of paradise and it has these flowers and they're very exotic and tropical. And um, it's from South Africa. That's where it grows in the ground naturally. And the lemons are really freeing well right now. And here you can see, they're commonly known as rough lemons or citrus limons. And Apparently they taste good, even though I haven't tasted them. <laughs> oh, and we also have strawberries, lots of strawberries. example of one of our two electric mowers here on campus. Uh, this happens to be a Greenworks mower. And the difference between uh, an electric mower and a traditional mower is that this one is powered, you guessed it, by electricity. Here on the back of this mower is a behemoth 82 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, so these, would, uh, these get charged every night uh, for our grounds folks to be able to use them the next day. First, if we had a conventional mower, we'd be refilling that with gasoline or diesel uh, and that'd be burned in the combustion engine. Because we're using electricity and not fuel, this is a zero emission mower while we're utilizing it. That also helps with air quality. Uh, you don't get any fumes off of this uh, mower while it's in use. So that's great for our carbon, re uh, carbon emission reduction efforts. Some other benefits that aren't environmental are just kind of the safety of our staff. So the Greenworks equipment tends to operate much quieter than a combustion engine. It can preserve some of our hearing of our ground staff, and offer them a more pleasant work experience. Let's take the Jag Line back to the office. So we're on the Jag Line, which is IUQI's shuttle system, a quick and easy way to get around campus downtown. The Jag Line, the Jag Line runs from east to west, north to south, and you can download the app and track your bus whenever you want to. What's great about the Jag Line is that it also connects to Indianapolis public transit system, the Indigo, via the Purple Line. You can pick up the Jag Line at Capitol in Vermont and bring it right in here to campus if you ride the Red Line through Indigo.
We made it to the last stop of our tour here at Lockfield Village, the Office of Sustainability. If you ever have questions about sustainability or want to learn more, swing by the fourth floor of this building and come say hi to us. Thank you.